Counting down from number five, it's the Green Bay Packers, and it's all about David Bakhtiari, the left tackle, who started to play at a Joe Thomas level in pass protection. That is high praise because he's only given up 11 pressures on 400 pass blocking attempts. His pass blocking grade is 94.2, exceptional and by far the number one mark in the NFL among tackles. And then center Corey Lindsley is on pace for a career year for a Packers offensive line that has been strong across the board. At number four, we have the Tennessee Titans. This group of offensive linemen was the best offensive line in football not too long ago. And guys like Jack Conklin are still playing at a great level, allowed only seven pressures so far on 171 pass blocking snaps. Taylor Lewan on the other side, only 12 pressures on 218 pass blocking snaps. Guys like Quentin Spain is our number nine graded guard with a PFF grade of 73.3. And Ben Jones at center is our number 10 graded center with a PFF grade of 69.2. The number three offensive line is the New England Patriots. They've been strong as a run blocking unit, number six overall in our grades, and in pass blocking, number nine in our pass blocking efficiency. The tackle play has been okay, but their real strength is on the interior, where Shaq Mason is the number three guard in the NFL per PFF grades, and then Joe Tooney, the number seven guard at 74.4. Don't forget about center David Andrews, the number seven center at 75.4. It's all about the interior offensive line for New England so far this season. At number two, we have the real driving force behind the unstoppable Los Angeles Rams offense, their offensive line. They've got the best run blocking grade as a team this season. They've got two top five ranked tackles at PFF. Andrew Whitworth at left tackle, the number three ranked tackle, an overall PFF grade of 86. And Rob Havenstein at right tackle is the number five ranked tackle with an overall PFF grade of 83.3. Their guards are also both ranked in the top six at that particular position. Austin Blythe, the number two ranked guard, and Roger Saffold, the number six at left guard. And the number one offensive line in the NFL so far is the Pittsburgh Steelers. And as has been the case in recent years, no stars along this Steelers offensive line, just incredibly consistent play. They've had seven linemen play at least 150 snaps, and they're all grading above average at 67.1 to 72.3. It's about consistency across the board. As a team, they have the number one pass blocking efficiency at 90.8. And if you do have to highlight a player, it's left tackle Alejandro Villanueva, who continues to get better. He's allowed only seven pressures on 390 attempts. And on the other end of the spectrum, here are your bottom five offensive lines, starting at number 28, Sam. First up, we have the Houston Texans. They've surrendered 129 total pressures as a line. That's the second most in the league. They have the second worst pass blocking efficiency allowed and the third worst pressure rate. Really the only thing saving this team from the bottom spot is how many pressures Deshaun Watson brings on himself as a quarterback that extends the play so long. We've charged him with six sacks so far, not to the offensive line, but to him as a quarterback. The number 29 offensive line in the league, it's the Minnesota Vikings. Kirk Cousins has been under pressure on 40% of his dropbacks and he's faced the most total pressures. 137 times the offensive line has surrendered pressure, most in the league through nine weeks. Cousins has played great under pressure, but it's gonna be really difficult to sustain that high level of play behind that weak Minnesota O-line. Next up is the Oakland Raiders, where the Tom Cable experiment has not stopped the rot in what was one of the best offensive lines in football not that long ago. Derek Carr has the third fastest average time to throw and the lowest average depth of target in the National Football League, and yet the Raiders still have the fourth lowest pass blocking grade and the seventh worst pressure rate in all of football. The number 31 offensive line so far this season, the Miami Dolphins. They've dealt with a number of injuries, but the replacements simply have not been up to par. Guard Ted Larson has an overall PFF grade of 39, and now as a group, the Dolphins have the second worst pressure rate in the NFL. But the worst offensive line in football throughout the entirety of the 2018 season so far has been the Arizona Cardinals. They have the lowest pass blocking efficiency score in the NFL by a wide margin, despite whatever quarterback they put back there getting rid of the ball faster than most. They have the worst pressure rate in the NFL so far. So there you have it. It's your best and worst offensive lines in the NFL powered by PFF's play-by-play -play grading. For the full list, be sure to get to profootballfocus.com.